And now, the general weather around Alaska. There is still a, a winter storm warning out here for the uh, northwest interior uh, Koyukuk Valley there. Uh, in those locations, also for portions of the Seward Peninsula, and that's out at least through tonight. Again, winter storm warnings for these two areas for heavy wind and snow. And satellite imagery showing uh, moisture moving from south to north here across the western part of the state, coming over higher pressure, spreading uh, mid and high level clouds and producing hazy sunshine here through the central interior on down into south central Alaska, actually even some cirrus all the way over toward the eastern border there. Uh, pretty good day down along the southeast coast, low pressure here coming northward, actually a couple of low centers, this one scooting up to the north there and it's kind of hard to detect in the uh, cloud pattern there. Another one a little more well defined here coming up toward the eastern Aleutians with another surge of moisture with it here across the Alaska Peninsula. And uh, that should all be moving northward, a little bit of an eastward progression here over the next uh, 24 to 36 hours and uh, colder temperatures back out over the western Bering Sea down to the western Aleutian areas. On the chart, uh, area of snow with that uh, weak low here over the northwestern Bering Sea in that colder air, but not much else going on out that way. Another weak low here with some rain, Adak and Atka, uh, during the day today. Stronger systems tracking northward, this one just west of Cape Newenham, and another one that we saw on the satellite coming up toward the Alaska Peninsula. First low there all the way up into the Arctic Ocean and good strong south winds here as high as 50 miles an hour or more pushed the temperature up into the lower 40s around Cape Lisburn and Point Hope today and brought rain into Kotzebue this afternoon. Mixed precipitation across the Seward Peninsula into the Yukon Delta. Kuskokwim Delta west of the Kuskokwim Mountains mostly rain falling this afternoon with uh, gusty winds, again, 25 to 55 miles an hour, strongest along the Alaska Peninsula here, and uh, Cape Newenham, for example, uh, seeing some winds gusting over 50 miles an hour today. Light rain extending eastward to uh, southwest Kodiak Island there, but not much getting in, just uh, kind of a cloudy day in the Kuskokwim Valley. Variably cloudy here, uh, pretty nice actually this afternoon for Cook Inlet. It's to sit in the Manuska Valley, temperatures uh, some areas rising well into the 40s. Nice day over the Copper River Basin with nice winds there extending down toward the southeast coast. For tonight, uh, front pushes eastward. That'll increase the uh, moisture at least into southern Cook Inlet along the uh, western Alaska range. There was some rain getting into the southern Kuskokwim Valley and then rain changing to showers here behind the front with this trough over Bristol Bay to the Alaska Peninsula ending and uh, much lighter winds, drier conditions moving into the areas from about Nelson Lagoon, Cold Bay, and Falls Pass, where in the last 12 hours, Falls Pass had a little over an inch of rainfall today and two thirds of an inch falling over at Cold Bay. Otherwise, uh, lighter amounts today up to the north, for example, Marshall had about a tenth of an inch of precipitation that fell in the form of rain. May pick up a little more tonight as this system swings up into that area there. But uh, mixed precipitation, Seward Peninsula into the Yukon Delta, and uh, precipitation mostly in the form of snow there along the western Arctic coast, western Brooks Range, and could go either way there around Kotzebue again. And again, not much going on over the central Bering Sea. Fair over the eastern interior, mostly clear, light winds for the Panhandle. Next system out here begins to spread some rain up late tonight toward the west central Aleutian areas, and tomorrow that uh, moisture does push up across the uh, Aleutians here, Adak and Atka, uh, kind of a windy wet day tomorrow into the eastern Aleutians with the front sliding eastward there. Otherwise a break, some higher pressure as the system weakens and pushes to the northeast here into the interior. So areas of snow from the Copper River Basin all the way up to the northwest coast and uh, starting to taper off in the late afternoon for the Seward Peninsula area and snow extending up along the western Arctic coast, dry over the eastern interior, a cloudier day for south central Alaska uh, than what we saw today here, or the last couple of days with uh, increasing chances of moisture, mostly along the southern Kenai Peninsula, western Prince William Sound, into eastern Turnagon Arm, otherwise uh, dry for the uh, northern Cook Inlet area, chance of showers Kodiak Island. And moving on to the first day of the weekend, Saturday, Shaping up like this, pretty good over the interior here. This area, this next system uh, coming up 
from the south. This one here actually comes northeastward and you can see pushes some good wind and precipitation into the southwest interior with the uh, heaviest precipitation of wind will occur over the Alaska Peninsula Friday night. Gale force winds, rain, possibly heavy at times, Kodiak Island with a good shot of moisture sliding up into Cook Inlet over to the Western Alaska Range. Eastern Cook Inlet, Kenai Peninsula staying dry through the day Saturday, increasing, probably see some light rain into Homer, Seldovia during the afternoon hours and increasing clouds over Prince William Sound, Copper River Basin, mostly sunny. And again, over the central interior, mostly sunny conditions. A few flurries of the weak trough for the western central Arctic coast, maybe along the eastern north slope there, but nothing significant, pretty light. And uh, northeast winds pick up uh, rain and snow showers, central Aleutians, a little more uh, concentrated along this trough, dropping into the western Aleutians there. As for the southeast coast, uh, Yakutat on down across the Panhandle, mostly sunny with light winds. Lows tonight in that area, 20s to lower 30s, otherwise uh, 5 to 10 Copper River Basin and uh, 5 to 15 or 5 to 25, quite a range here over the eastern interior. Temperatures in the teens for the Arctic coast and some areas here over the southwest interior staying above freezing. Uh, especially in the copper or the uh, Cuscoom Delta here down into Bristol Bay, Kodiak Island. Not too bad in those lows uh, for South Central Alaska, 25 to 35, mid 20s for the Primloffs. Highs for tomorrow, 40 to 45, Cuscoom Valley, I should say Southern Cuscoom Valley down into Bristol Bay in the Alaska Peninsula, mid 20s St. Lawrence Island in the 40s to lower 50s for the Southeast Coast and well into the 30s for the Central Interior and <coughs> Excuse me. Upper 20s to mid 30s there for the North Slope and the Arctic Coast. Again, quite variable today. Umiat up to 45 degrees, for example. And then the lows for Saturday morning, staying above zero for the Arctic Coast and North Slope areas, and uh, 15 to 20 there in the Brooks Range. Otherwise, teens and 20s, Central Interior, mid teens out toward the Northern Bering Sea here, mid 20s for the Pribloffs. Lower to mid 30s, Bristol Bay in the 20s, Cuscoom Valley, and mostly upper 20s to lower 30s, South Central Alaska. And for the Southeast Coast, again, upper 20s to lower 30s. That'll be followed by highs with a lot of sunshine, 40s to lower 50s, Southeast Coastal areas, 40 to 45 for the greater Fairbanks area there, otherwise uh, 30s. And that extends all the way up to the Brooks Range. Then you fall back into the 20s there. Cooler on the uh, Arctic coast or that trough dropping in from the northwest there. So about 5 to 15 for the highs, but milder off to the east. And uh, Bristol Bay, 45 to 50 for the highs. South Central Alaska, 40 to 50 for the high temperatures on Saturday afternoon. A test of the tsunami warning system. Wednesday, March 27th at approximately 1020 a.m. This test will be conducted for portions of coastal communities in southeast Alaska, the Kenai Peninsula, Kodiak, the Aleutian, and Pribilof Islands. Audio on TV will indicate it's a test, but what viewers see on their television screens may not. Go to ready.alaska.gov to report your test reception. This test will be canceled in the event of any significant seismic activity.